Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? We are doing good. We are just, as you guys can see, we are at, oops, we are at 30 levels, so we are going to go and chant. I'm going to get a pick. I did a, a chant earlier. I'll show you guys why I got the levels. Um, we got a pick earlier and look at what we got. We got a great silk touch, efficiency pick, blah, 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 blah. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Don't worry. Don't you guys worry. I will show you guys. Don't worry. Okay. So let's hope for... I All I want is a work pick. Because right now I'm using my fortune pick as a work pick. So I just want a work pick. I don't even want silk touch, fortune, nothing. I could just use a work pick. Another fortune three. That's that's my second just regular fortune three. That, that I have. That's just fortune three. Hmm. Interesting. So let's go put that back. And I'll, I'll explain to you guys what I've been up to. Um... Look at I have that. Oh, that's a. Oh, where was my fortune three without? Oh, that it was a fortune three. Okay, then I got just a fortune free. Fortune free. Fortune free. You got fortune free. I got fortune free. Look like someone's name down there. I got fortune free too. All right, so we got chickens going. What else we got? You might be saying, why aren't they making any sound? I got the sound shut off so that they don't make any noise because they are loud. No. Okay, let's put you in there then. There we go. Uh oh, we're gonna fill you up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's uh let's throw you two out the door. On and the door. Let's see if they spawn any chickens. Oh man, those got thrown far. I didn't expect it to go that far. Oh well. So we've been breeding villagers. Look at them. Look at them. There's a couple of them on this side that I want, but all these guys are guys that I think I'm gonna end up wanting. This guy does a chicken, so that's why I've been doing chickens, raw chickens. And he does wool. And then I just can reset him with one emerald. Not a bad trade. Not bad. I get way more emeralds than I have to. This one has wool and wheat and chicken. And he costs three emeralds to reset. This guy, uh, why do I keep him? 26 paper. That's why I kept him. I kept him for the paper. This guy I kept because he has this, chi this chest plate, which, as you guys can see, I am wearing one. He has a chest plate. He has the iron armor. And that's all he has. Uh, he has the gold trade, but eh, don't really want that as that trade. Um, so he's kind of eh, eh. He's the only reason I'm keeping him is for this. This guy, well, this guy is a prize right now. Um, he has his first trade was a diamond sword. His next trade's a diamond chest plate, which that's great, just great. Um, I haven't got 18 emeralds yet to. Be able to do it with him. I've been trying to upgrade those guys over there. But these are the guys I'm keeping. And these guys over here are not. So this guy, for Fire Aspect 2, yeah, I'm not even going to do that trade. He will be a get rid of her. -er. This guy, I haven't got that far because of raw beef. This guy, same pork chop. I, I, a couple of these guys have pork chop because I don't have it. This one wasn't too bad. Um, I like the bottle of chanting. But I don't like the end... That I have to sacrifice a diamond axe every time I want. I mean, it's a silk touch, but eh, it's a diamond. Who okay. cares? Axe, silk touch, who cares? Now, the iron is a good trade for what I have planned to do today. But it's not on the last slot. So then I'd have to trade in 10 emeralds to get a diamond axe, which I eh, don't really want to do. Um, this guy, I just... Oh, I have to do a written book. This guy could still have potential for doing something. This guy, haven't done that trade yet. That guy... Nothing yet. Um, he could potentially have paper at the end, though. He could. We'll have to see that. This guy just, he ended with, that's where that efficiency two pick came from. And this guy has paper, but then he has this at the very end. Which, luck of C3, it's that new enchant, but is it worth turning nine emeralds? I don't think so. So, what I'm going to do is we got to get this guy back up here. And we got this guy up here. This guy's my breeding machine, this guy right here. This guy is my breeding machine. Hey, dude, how's it going? He has, he had chicken and he had wheat, which is good for me. But then his final was 10 fish or his current one's 10 fish, which I'm not going to sit around and fish just to reset him. No siree. So I'm going to go ahead and set up, uh, set that guy up and I'll bring you guys back. So we got that guy in his little cart now. So now we just got to get him up here. So right above here is where those villagers are. So we got to make a two by two, a two by three platform. One, two, three. So it's six, and then we got the six doors. So we put one, 
One door there. One door there. One door there. One door there. One door. Nope. Not there. Not there. Come back. There you go. One door right about. Uh, let's put. Let's just go like this, just so we can walk back here. One door there and one door there. So six doors. Go back in through here. Go like this. Then we put one right there. Close that door. Put one right there. So then he can't fall off that way. And I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. And so then we go like this. And no, no, no. Okay. We'll break you. We'll push you that way. And we'll put you up there. Go. 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 Whoa. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Um. Dang it. How am I supposed to do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? No! Ugh, you weren't supposed to go that way. You weren't supposed to go that way. Let's push you back down. Push you. Ow. 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 We need to, uh, we need to do one of these. Please don't go through that. Please don't go through that. That's all I ask. No! Dang it. Okay. This is going to be a pain in the butt now. Dang it. What happened? Oh, my gosh. Do I the, should I bust this one? Yeah. Probably. And then I should bust these two, probably. And then push him back down. There you go. You go... Yeah, you stay right there. Okay, so that means I got to make this a straight... Okay, I'll fix this. Okay, so we have him up there now. Now we're going to break all this down because I'm pretty sure the reason why we have to have him up high is so that he doesn't... Uh... Oh, not what I... I didn't want to break that one. Dang it. Um, the reason why I'm pretty sure you want him up high is because I made the mistake the first time I did this that he jumped. <laughs> he uh, ended up jumping down because I, I built it right on top of the house here thinking... Oh, it only needs to be five spaces away or whatever from the uh, from the villagers. So I was like, oh, that's the top of the house. But I think it's yet to be five five away from a place that he can... Um, five blocks away to where he can jump down to. Because you don't want him to uh, be jumping around down. Or jumping off of here. So if we break this, he's here. We should be able to push him through there. He's there. Don't worry. Then we should be able to break these blocks. He should be on that block right there. Yes. So we can break these. And we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and log real quick and see ya. So logging shows that he's up there. So we're good. Let's just grab all this stuff. This track back here is for ones that I want to keep. I end up pushing them through the wall. And then I bring them back around and over here. And, oh, let me show you guys that. I love this. This is a great update. For the stained glass, I'm so happy they did this. Let me just break these real quick. I put this extra wall up for a long story. But look at you can actually see outside now. Remember last video was like really hard to see and I didn't know if I quite liked it? Well, I like it now, especially with this. Oh, it's so, you can actually see through the glass. So much better. So much better. Um, so yeah, these guys will start mating and doing their thing. Oh, look at they already made it. Two of them already made Whoa, we already got two babies down there. Oh yeah, take that. Booyah. Oh, I hope these guys don't start mating. They will. Dang it. I'm going to have to look through and figure out which ones I want again. So let me show you guys how I got these guys in the first place. Then we'll go on to the Iron Golem farm. So I got these guys in the first place because I got them up here through this little track right here. Which I have to take apart. But this little track right about here. This guy right here. Let's see where this guy leads to. Let's just keep following, keep following, and look. Oh my gosh, look at this. You're so creative. No, not really. Derp, derp, derp. So there is, what I have over here is I have a, follow that up, keep going. I remembered I had a zombie farm down here. Look at that. Or a zombie farm, a zombie spawner down here. So I was like, oh, there's, I know there's a small chance a zombie villager can, or a villager zombie, whatever, infested villager can spawn from a spawner so i was like let's just go down there and let's heal a couple so i healed three of them and started from there so but today we're gonna work on an iron golem farm and so i'm gonna keep breeding these until i get 16 that i don't want or that are undesirable and then we are gonna i'm gonna start with the infrastructure start building the structure and whatnot um have to still decide what i want to do it out of if i want to make it look nice and use like clay or something or just use stone i i don't fully know yet so we will figure that all out, and we will start making this iron golem farm. Alrighty, we got the 20 by 20 platform down. 
Now, I, these are the materials I'm going to build it out of. I'm going to throw in a little bit of iron blocks in here because you got it. It's an iron golem farm. Um, so I just felt like I got to. Uh, I'm building it off on this island over here. What the? How? What? <laughs> I never even noticed these guys. How did these guys get over here? I didn't even notice these guys. Let's go down there. Let's go see what they're up to. Let's go see what trades they got. Maybe they're worth salvaging. Hmm. What are you guys doing out here, huh? What do you got? Oh, you're a blacksmith. Oh, you were that guy. Uh-huh. I remember your trade. Yep. Mm -hmm. I remember you. You? What did you have? Ooh, you were stuck on a chicken. You could have been a good one. You right? You could have been a good one, sir. Come on. Yeah, come to me. Come on. Okay. So, here's the 20 by 20. We're going to put iron blocks on the corners for because you can see the corners because you can see them so hey they hey look they decided to come over here look at it look at that perfect we're gonna put two right there you need to put two on every corner i think this uh, uh six times four is 24 am i gonna have enough Ooh, ooh i don't think so because yeah, dang it. Oh, I'll just do the corners on all of them. I'll do mossy. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, block. Then one, two, three, one, two, three. Then so one, two, three, four, five, six. So, as you guys can see, we're going to go off of, based off the doc. Uh, it's not doc M's uh, three, three. It's not doc M's actual like design. He didn't come up with it. But he found it from someone else, and so if you want to go check it out, go check out Doc's uh, channel and his video. I think that might have been seven. Nope, six. Do, do, do. And uh, so, yeah, I'll uh, keep working on this, and we will see ya. We got the first floor done, as you guys can see. Look at that. That took a lot of resources. I ran out. I had to go back to my base, got, went back, got a chest with a bunch of stuff the doors my gosh i took a lot of wood good thing i had a lot of spruce wood from something but man did that take a lot so now i'm just sitting here uh working on getting the second floor done i still have to put uh torches i still have to decide what i want to do for lighting i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna do torches because this isn't gonna be anything where it's like i'm gonna be uh showing it off to people you know what i mean it's just gonna be simply uh simply just here to spawn um so what i'm gonna do is <laughs> i'm just gonna i think light it up with torches like you see right down there just all the walls with torches like that i still have to lay the water as you guys can obviously see um and yeah so <laughs> we just gotta get to sit here and keep building this thing and pretty soon hopefully i'm pretty sure that that stuff's still loaded over there so i'm hoping that during this whole time i've been over here they've been breeding um so yeah hope i'm what i'm really hoping is the side that i don't have any trades with or that i don't plan on trading with anything is i hope those guys are um been breeding and have enough bread so i have 16 of those that i can bring over here right away um if not then um you know then we'll just sit and wait so I'm going to, oh, is there a spider in there? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep working. All right. Oh, dang it. I forgot my ice. Okay. We need to get ice. We got everything settled down and now we can start laying the water. Now, I don't know, to be honest with you, if I grabbed enough ice. I don't think I did, but I guess we'll find out. So... We could use bucket of water, which maybe that's what I should do. I could. But we're just going to lay ice every other one. Uh-oh. I don't have a silk touch. Oh, well. Now we just got screwed over. And then we can lay we can lay water in the, that corner. So we got to go. This is so that it lays uh, perfectly even. Damn it. Dang it. I mean. So we're just. I'll show you guys one second. Give me, give me a quick second. Just shh. Okay. You know what? The torches should melt these things. But that's yeah, that's not going to be good. Okay, so there we go. Let's just break these. 
Oh, no. Please. Yes, okay. So then we should be able to take this guy and do this right there and then grab him and we're good. Good. Perfect. So there we go. There we go. Yep. There we go. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Now there's... Yep. That guy's not there. There we go. Then we can grab that guy. There we go. So I'm going to keep... Uh, do it. Well, actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna complete this floor with you guys. Then I'll let you go. Let you go do the do other things. There we go. Look at that. Starting to get them pushed in together, which is exactly what we want. And then the corner, perfect. So now what we're doing here is we if we were to keep that keep it like this, they could all like bunch up in the corners, which we don't want. So what we're gonna end up doing is we break these. And then see how it starts flowing back that way towards the corner? What we end up doing then is we just put an ice uh, water block right there. And look at that. Perfect. Now you see, no matter what happens, like even these torches right here, these torches will go back over here. So let's do that with all four corners. If we break these out, we'll get that. And we can put a block up there. And then grab another one so that we have, yep, water source. Perfect. And then here we go again. Perfect. And our last one. And now we still got to go do this down below. So I'm going to go ahead and do this down below. So now as you guys can see, if they spawn right here, boom, boom you know. Yep, come on. See that the water current for here is going that way? So if they spawn right here, they're going to go into the center. So as you guys can see, they'll get pushed in here. And then they go fall down. And boom. Perfect. So, we're going to do that down here also. We got this thing done. Look at that. So, the only thing that's not done yet is we still have to get the villagers in here. Um, got to get the villagers in here to, And then close off the tops and make a roof on it or whatnot. So, for those of you that don't know, the way this is going to work is we have the doors in here so that there's... Um, Enough, we get enough villagers over here, and we get 16 villagers, and then 16 villagers, when there's 16 villagers in a city, and this is going to be considered its village, I mean, not city, village, um, there will be an iron golem that will spawn, because at 16 villagers is when an iron golem will spawn in a village, uh, to protect the villagers. So we're kind of exploiting that with an iron golem farm, and making a fake village and going to spawn iron golems over here so the thing we have left to do is to get the villagers over here and the way we're going to do that is by minecart so i'm just going to grab a whole bunch of um cobblestone here and we are just going to make a long line back to the base and uh just get some track and you know we're gonna have, i think we're gonna take down that track going to the zombie farm but uh so we're gonna have to do this and we're just gonna drop them off in there and hope for the best so there we go we'll do that and i will continue to do this and we will have a completed iron golem farm here really soon that we will be able to farm iron with. And the reason why I built it over here is I kind of have an idea of um, building a giant, giant, a giant, a giant iron golem, um, like right on this corner here that signifies it's an iron golem farm. That's kind of the reason why I built it over here. Uh, just so, just so that it's a way, for, I didn't want it to be in there because I didn't want it to, I didn't want this big bulky thing just in my building space area because I want to, because that house is, I'm going to continue to add on to this house and more, much, much more. And so I didn't want it to get in the way over there. And I kind of have some ideas for automation of farms too for items, items that I can trade with villagers. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to, I think put those farms over here or maybe on that island, but they need to be close enough where they're loaded while I'm working here. And this, I'm pretty sure, is close enough to be loaded. So then I can just, uh, while I'm here working, I'm not going to do any of the killing system to get the XP for them. I'm just going to simply kill them with lava as they spawn and collect the iron. That's all I care about. So 
We will uh, get some villagers over here. We got the track built. So now, now it's time to go and get the villagers and get them in there. So what we're this is how we're gonna do? Them. We're going to bust that out. We're going to put this in there. Complete that. There we go. Perfect. Get those down there. We ender pearl. Are, mm. Ender pearl. Oh. And, oh. 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 No. Come on. I didn't have trouble with this earlier. Oh, come on, really? Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. I didn't have this trouble at all earlier. Okay, fine, we'll go around to the front. Just to make them happy. Gosh, what stubborn villagers. What stubborn villagers. Okay. So, no, now we're good, now we're good. Yeah, what do you guys think of that, huh? Huh? That's what I thought. Put... One of you in there, go. Put another one of you in there, go. Whoa, that could have been bad. Put another one of you in there, go. Put another one of you in there. Really, dude? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Go. You go. No, you go. There you go. Sweet. Now we will go check on them. Let's go check on them. Look at all these chicken eggs. Gosh, dang it. Too many. Too many. It's filling my inventory. Go, Geronimo! Woo! I'm assuming they're making it. What? Getting stuck. What are they doing getting stuck? They're not supposed to get stuck like that. Oh, they're not getting stuck. What? Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. Let's uh, pillar up and let's go get... Let's go uh, rescue these guys. Dang, dang it. Okay. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, hey, come back here. There you go, perfect. You go, you go, you go. And you go in. There you go, perfect. Ah, dang you guys. Come back here. Hey, you're coming back. Hey, hey, you're coming back. Hello, how you doing? You stay there. Where's the, where's the, oh, there's the other guy. Whoa, what's he doing? He's like off the edge. What a weirdo. Okay, we'll put you right there. And push you. Go. 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 Yeah, there you go. This guy's... <laughs> this guy's... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd that track go? Where'd that track go? Is this guy gonna hit me? Is he gonna... Whoa, what's up with this frame drop? What's up with this frame drop? Whoa, whoa. whoa. Man, that was weird. Horrible frame drop right there. Must have been because of the, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't get killed. No, okay. You guys go. Come on. Go that way. Stop being so stubborn. Let's see if we can make it on. We're gonna miss, aren't we? Oh, nope, we got it. Put you in there. Put you in there. No, you went the wrong way, dude. Ah, dang it. He'll be back. Nothing to worry about. He will be back. I can guarantee it. There we go. Perfect. So we got four on this side. I don't think they can get up. You know, I think I'm supposed to build another wall up here. There we go. Because I think they can get up. Maybe not, but we got to put a wall around and we can't have them jumping. So I'll just put a... Uh, I think what... Oh, you know, we need to have this open for this guy to come. When he comes back. Is he going to come back? Is he... What's he doing? Yeah, there you go. Come on. Come on back. You know you want to. Alright, I'm going to finish putting these guys in there, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. No, don't mate! Man, what is up with these guys? I put them in this... I, I put them in a dang thing for five minutes, and they can't even... Alright, take them away from each other for five minutes to put them on a uh, mine cart, and they can't even control themselves. They're already making love over here, and... Oh, jeez. Hearts were flying... What about these guys? Have these guys actually made one yet? Gosh dang you. You're not supposed to make one. Ugh, whatever. I'm still going to put 16 of them from over there, over here. Uh, just because I feel like it's going to be the easiest route to be able to do. Um, now we got to... What's the best way? 
Huh. You know, I'll just go... I don't know if I have enough track to go around. Maybe I can just uh, go over? Right? You guys will be fine like that, right? You guys won't kill yourself. Right? Right? I think I just go over like that. That'll be fine. Look! We know it works. We already have an iron golem down here, even though we don't want him there yet. Uh, but he's here nonetheless, and I wonder, I think only one will spawn in this area, because that's all the villagers I have for it. So let's go, and we got villagers in everything except this one, which we have villagers now. And we are one, two, three, and... We have more than enough villagers over here, but I just want... I don't know. I'm thinking about actually even killing one vill... Oh. Where'd that go? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, all right, come on. Where are we going? You guys, have you guys noticed this guy? I think they added stars. Because it looks so much... Oh, so nice. So, whoa. Was that a zombie villager? Or was that just a villager? Uh oh, what was that? Why did he drop? He dropped from the... I think he dropped from right in here. Didn't he? Dang it. Oh, well, I think I think we're all good. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we got to pillar up again. Pillar up. We got to kill that iron golem first off because we can't... We need to have... We need to have the room to do it. Um... Because I don't think we can get any more spawning. So, I will work on that. Alright, well, I got a bunch of, uh, stone here to get rid of. And I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like mining it. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, use the TNT that we have for the first time. Woo! This is going to be fun. I have never really blown very much up on the server with TNT. So, let's, uh, see how we do. Woo! Oh, I was going to say, hopefully I don't fall through the hole or land on one of the uh, redstone deals. All right, here we go. We're going to plant there, and then we're going to lay one there. There we go. Boom. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if they start exploding the other ones. No. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I guess a couple of them did, but not all of them. So let's, uh, let's get back up there. There we go. And then we will... Uh, Finish doing these real quick. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? We're over here. Perfect. Okay, let's uh put let's just put that right there. There. Oh, there's two iron gold. Oh, come on! Get too nervous. Get too nervous. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa! Maybe there go. Oh, whoa! Hey, hey, yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Perfect. There you go. Oh yeah. We got a decent view. Ugh. Oh yeah, look at him go. That's whoa! <laughs> Did you guys just see that? You guys just see that that Ender Pearl get lot or get deflected by the uh, TNT? Oh, perfect! That was so much easier than uh, mining it out, and so much more fun. Oh, that was so cool that that uh, Ender Pearl just get blasted to the side over there. All right, so we do have two Iron Golems over there now. Um, so what we're doing is I was cooking some glass because I. Wanted to use glass. Uh, I need to go in the nether first and get some lava. Uh, I think there's actually a lava source over there, but I might be able to get one in the nether quicker, I think. So I'm going to go get some lavas and I'll be right back. So, we got the iron golem farm complete, as you guys can see. And it's burning. Burning, burning, burning. Like I said, I'm not cared about the XP. I just want to kill them and get their iron. So it just sits here. It burns. Goes down here. We had six in here. And now we have nine. So it looks like every iron golem, we get three iron. And I think because last time when I came back, I, there was three iron golems on the island. And I went over there to grab some stuff. I'm pretty sure being over there will have this loaded. And I'll be collecting iron anytime I'm at my base. Or at least in the main house. So... Like always, guys, thank you guys for watching. My name's Vilasai. Dream big.